Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. This is the seventh video in this PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about slideshow option in PowerPoint. Well, guys, this is one of the most important option or you can say menu option in Microsoft PowerPoint because the main aim of your Microsoft PowerPoint or the main aim of your creating PowerPoint presentation is to showcase your slides, showcase your presentation in front of someone else. And this slideshow option helps you to showcase or helps you to show your slides, show your presentation in front of others. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see, we are into Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 and let's choose one project or you can say the presentation so that we can show you all the options in the slideshow menu over here, as you can see here. So these are the menu options over here, file, home, insert, draw, design, transition, animation, then we have slideshow. So after using these options one by one, okay, after using insert, draw, design, transition, then animation, we need slideshow when we want to present or when we want to show our presentation in front of others, in front of someone else whom you want to present your slideshow. Okay, so click on this option and you'll be getting these options which you might be familiar with or you might be not. Okay, so let's start from the from beginning option. Okay, so as I have already told you that the main work of slideshow option is to show your slideshow presentation in front of others. Okay. So when you click on this uh, from beginning option, it will start your presentation from the very beginning, which means from the first slide. That doesn't matter you have selected the third slide or the fifth slide. If you click on this, it will automatically start your presentation from the first slide, from the beginning. Okay, let me show you. Once I click here, as you can see, this is the first slide. And if I press the space button, the presentation starts going on as you can see here. So that's how your presentation works. And if I press the escape button, it will go back to the previous menu or the previous uh, window. Okay. Then we have current slide. So this is the option to start your presentation from the current slide, which you have uh, already selected. Okay. Uh, for example, I have already selected the fourth slide. As you can see here, my selection is the fourth one. And if I click on this current slide, it will start my presentation from the fourth slide. As you can see here, know your audience. This one is the fourth slide. Then it will go on as like the previous one. Okay. Now pressing escape button in order to go back to the previous window. Okay. So these are the pretty uh, normal options. Everyone knows about it. Then we have custom slides, custom slide show. So if I click on this, well, this one is a pretty important. You can see if you are planning to uh, use Microsoft PowerPoint more often, then this custom slideshow might be very important for you. Okay, so let me click on this custom shows and here you can use or I can say here you can create a custom slideshow which you can show through others. Okay, so as for example, let me show you, let me close this one. So as you can see, we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, six and then we have at that nine uh, slides over here. Okay, so if you want to select only few slides to show someone, let's say you want to choose just you want to choose one, then three, then the sixth, then the eighth. So you can create that particular slide with custom slideshow option. You just have to click custom slideshow, click new. And here are the all the nine slides added here. OK, now you just have to select one, three, which you want to show, right? Then the sixth and let's choose one, uh, this one, eighth. So we have selected one, three, sixth and eighth. Okay, and you can add your you can add a name to this uh, new slideshow as well. So let me add this short slide show. Okay, so this is the name short slideshow and click on add button. Now this slideshow is added now and you can click on OK and it will be saved over here. Okay, once you click here, you can click on show and it will be working like this as you can see here. So this is the custom slideshow option where you can use or where you can create one more or many other type of custom slideshows using these slideshows which you have already created over here. Okay, then we have setup slideshow. So if you want to change, change any settings, change any options in your slideshow, 
you can do that with this option if i click on this here are the countless options as you can see here many options are here the first one is show type so how you want to show your presentation to others so these here are three options the first one is presented by a speaker full screen so if there's a speaker okay and you want to show your presentation on full screen you can choose this option we have two more options over here browsed by an individual and it will be in window show type okay then we have browsed at a kiosk so if there is a kiosk and you can add this particular presentation in that particular kiosk and it will be run as a full screen slide or show type okay so he these options are pretty important and pretty uh, useful as well according to the scenario okay so that is based on your scenario which where you are or which type of show type you want okay then we have show options so the first option is loop continuously until escape so this option will be very useful if you want to run your uh, slideshow continuously like if you click on this your slideshow will not get end if until you press the escape button in your keyboard okay it will start again and again from the slide first okay and it will go on and on so keep this option on right now then we have show without narration so if you have added narration in your slideshow and if you check this button your slideshow will be shown without narration and then we have without animation so uh, we have already added the animation in our slideshow and if you want to show your slideshow without animation then you can choose this one then we have disable hardware graphics acceleration so sometimes happen that the slideshows are not working properly the animations which we have added in our slideshows sometimes that doesn't work properly in that case you have to disable your hardware graphics acceleration okay and your slides will be working perfectly fine okay but in my pc it is working fine so i'm not checking this box okay and let me uncheck this one as well then we have pen color so this one is very useful option i'll create one more dedicated video in this uh, pen color i mean pen option okay but for now this is just an option to change your pen color okay and one dedicated video on this option okay then we have laser pointer if you have a laser pointer you can change the color as well of that laser pointer then here slideshows so this is the as you I, I have already told you here the custom slideshow option which i have already told you here is that option okay so as i have told you earlier that microsoft has added same option in a multiple places so this is the perfect example here is custom slideshow option and the custom slideshow option is over here as well if you click on this we already have created one sort slideshow as you can see here you can select this and if you want to show all your slides then you have the all option and if you want to show from 3 to 8 you can select or you can create like this as well so let me go with all option then we have advanced slides in advanced slide options we have two options the first one is manually so if you are running or if you are showing your slideshow in front of someone else and so how you want to present that slideshow like manually by pressing that space button or you want to use the timing option like you have added three second time in per every slide and that slide will be changed after three seconds automatically so these two options are for that if you want manually then you just have to press space button every time to change the slide okay and if you have added timing then it will automatically change according to the time then we have multiple monitor option if you have added multiple monitors in your computer you can use this option we have automatic option then primary monitor as well okay so if you have three or two monitor system added in your computer okay you can use the primary monitor to show your slideshow okay so that's it with uh, this setup show option let me mm, i haven't changed anything click on okay then we have one more small option that is hide slideshow just in case you want to hide any of your slide let me hide this one for example i want to hide this fourth slide okay so just click and it will be hide as you can see here it's striked out now so if i run a slideshow from a beginning i will be not able to see that fourth slideshow as you can see here the fourth slide show or i mean the fourth slide is 
gone now okay this one is the fourth slide let me unhide it again now it's unhide now so we have completed these options then we have rehearse timings i'll create one more video on this particular option i'll create one more dedicated video on this particular option but for a glance let me tell you that if you want to show your ad i mean if you want to show your slideshow in front of others right that's the main aim you of so but before conducting a presentation you might want to rehearse you might want to practice so that you don't get fumble or you don't get stuck in between the presentation right so in order to practice or in order to rehearse your presentation you have to use this option rehearse timings well ms powerpoint is very useful tool they have added every important option every important tool in their uh, software this uh, rehearse timing option is very useful so i'll be creating one more video dedicated video on this then we have record option if you want to screen record this uh, total slideshow you can use this option by clicking this from current slide or from beginning same as this one but this will be recording okay then we have three options play narration use timings uh, show media controls as we have shown in this option as well then the monitor i have already told you we have uh, selected automatically automatic option then we have primary monitor so i'm using only one screen i'm use uh, creating the slideshow in my laptop so i have only one screen over here so i don't have to select this primary monitor option if i select automatically this will work fine for me okay so i hope you understand each and everything in slideshow uh, menu okay and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll try to answer those questions even i answer every question which i get in my comment section so thanks for watching this video hit that subscribe and like button and we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye